Our top story this afternoon, another diagnosed case of Ebola in Texas. Health officials there confirmed that a health care employee who had worked with Ebola patient Thomas Duncan has contracted the illness. Duncan died last week and today we have an update on the second case. Kristen Holmes joins us live from the newsroom with the very latest. Kristen. Good afternoon. Well, in a press conference this morning, we learned that the healthcare worker reported having a fever on Friday night. She, along with others who treated Thomas Duncan, were required to self monitor for Ebola symptoms following contact with the patient. The woman was in full protective gear while she treated Duncan and has told officials that she is unsure of how she contracted the disease. Meanwhile, this morning, the president of the Centers for Disease Control says there was a problem with the hospital's treatment protocol. We're deeply concerned by the news that a healthcare worker in Texas has tested preliminarily, preliminarily positive for infection with Ebola virus. We don't know what occurred in the care of the index patient, the original patient in Dallas, but at some point there was a breach in protocol and that breach in protocol resulted in this infection. This is the first transmission of the disease on American soil. If you remember, Thomas Duncan contracted the disease in Liberia before entering the United States. And the healthcare worker has been isolated since she tested positive for the disease. And the level of the disease was reported as low for now. They are still doing confirmation tests. The Centers for Disease Control and Protection laid out a four-step plan to handle this latest ca case of the deadly virus. There are four things that we're doing at this point. First, to make sure that we do everything possible to care safely and effectively for this individual. Second, assessing her possible contacts from the moment she developed symptoms. And the CDC team lead for the Dallas investigation has interviewed her, and it appears at this time that there is only one contact who may have had contact with her while she may have been infectious. That individual is under active monitoring. Third, we are evaluating other potential healthcare worker exposures. Fourth, we will undertake a complete investigation of how this may have occurred. And the director also said not to be alarmed if there were other cases reported in the upcoming days, citing that if one healthcare worker was exposed, it's likely that others were as well. And there are certainly a lot of questions around this case, especially since the CDC has said multiple times that American hospitals are equipped to deal with the disease that has claimed the life of over 4,000 in West Africa. We'll keep you posted with the latest as we learn more details on this from News Channel 8. Kristen Holmes in the newsroom. Kristen.